Now this is what I've come to see, the Halton Tower. I forgot to put my map in the car, but I found it. Hopefully. It's quite impressive. So it's the Horton Tower I'm going to, not the Holton Tower. Horton Tower. How about that for a project house? Never seen that before. Um, wisteria or something. Growing up the television aerial. What a fantastic cottage though. This is this old house. Well, I've got to the tower. It's um, built in 1750 and it's a folly. And we can't see it from here. It looks like it's got four sides, but it's only got three for some reason. And it's called Horton Tower and it has another name as well, but I'm not sure what that is. It's associated with the person who had it built. Apparently, um, he could go up to the top look at the stars and uh, he also hunted out the windows it's got mobile phone it's a, it doubles up as a mobile phone mast now and apparently uh, the mobile phone company did a bit of restoration on it let's have a look around the other side that gives an idea of the three-sidedness of it I don't want to point the camera up in the air because it's raining at the moment and I'll get water on the lens. So there we go, you can see one of the mobile phone aerial things up there. It's quite discreet, there's quite a number on it all round. It's um, made of smaller bricks, slightly smaller bricks than what the Victorians used. It's nicely built. I suppose People needed to spend the money on something, you know, they couldn't buy a, a Lamborghini or something, or uh, I don't know what else they might buy, or a trip in Richard Branson's space rocket. So uh, they built these sort of things when they had a little bit of spare cash. I don't know what I think about it, really. Um, well, I, don't, I just don't know. I suppose it gave work to the people who built it. I don't know. I was just puzzled. Absolutely puzzled, but uh, it looks quite interesting. 